Okay, so this is something I've been working on for, something me and my dad have been working on for a, sort of a little while now. Um, this is my brand new homemade outdoor warning siren. Yeah, it's finished. Um, as I said in a video recently when I was doing maintenance on all of the alarms in my house, you might recognize, or you, you want to remember this box thing because it'll uh, be used later. Well, this is what it was for. So I got it painted, got it clear coated and everything weatherproofed. Bought some stickers off of stickermule.com and got, uh, for a really good deal, I got a ton of civil defense stickers. They gave me some extras, so hey, hey win for me. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so this is the siren. It's got a like $20 or something beacon on top of it. This thing I found at Walmart. I think that's where I found it. I wasn't originally planning on... I, I was planning on putting it on for a while, then decided not to. Then uh, my uh, group of siren enthusiasts that I'm in <laughs> convinced me once again to put it on. So it's on now. It's dim in the daylight, but it, it gets the job done. You have four... Um, Workman THF something something speakers. I don't remember the exact model number. Um, you have these buckles. This one's open right now because I have a wire going in for power. Uh, once it's up on a pole, it's gonna be probably powered by solar and probably that 12 volt battery. But um, for now, this is the power input got these two buckles right here. I have the one open because it will crimp the wire if I shut it all the way. We pop those off. We can take this off. That's not off. There's the inside. You can see the amplifier right there. Just some cheap thing I found on Amazon. There's the model number. OSA 4001B outdoor speaker array. 4001 means four speakers in one array and the B stands for battery. Right now, technically, it's AC, but it's um, going to be running off of battery power eventually. So, all right, I'll uh, give some demonstrations of it. This is the controller that I made on the website Scratch. Amazing, amazing website. Um, I can turn on the strobe here, and you'll see flashes. This is a custom pattern. When I got it, it flashed like a turn signal, but um, that can only, computers only output AC power over auxiliary and Bluetooth, so I had to make some sort of custom flashing segment, and 10 hertz is the only uh, frequency that gets that thing to respond and flash. Uh, I could, I guess I'll do a few demonstrations of tones. This is a new controller. I had a different one for another video, uh, the Mini Siren Extravaganza from a while back. But this is a new controller. This is a dual tone one. And uh, I guess I'll activate attack first, because why not? I think everyone is going to like the um, sounds I use for this. So here goes attack. Yeah, it's replicating a 710 port siren. Uh, originally it was just 630 hertz single tone, as you might remember if you've seen the videos um, that I posted before, but uh, now it's dual toned, replicating 710 port, because I figured that is way more attention getting, So and it stands out. There's no machinery like it that sounds like that. 
So, uh, yeah, that's that tone. Um, the high-low is the devil's chord as well. That's what that ratio is known as, is the devil's chord. So it sounds a little different than the old one did. The old one had a higher pitched uh, tone on it, but this one's got a little bit lower. So, uh, yeah, I've got all sorts of announcements programmed, as you can see. Those are all announcements. These are tones. That is, uh, this, the S high-low, does five segments of high-low, and then it shuts off, and this repeats it for, and it goes for five minutes. Uh, all of alert, attack, and long high-low run for five minutes, because um, where I live, the sirens run for five minutes uh, in emergencies. So yeah, those run for five minutes. You have cancel. This plays the wind down, and this just completely cuts off everything. Uh, I guess I'll do this. This is a loud one, uh, louder than all the other tones for some reason, but air horn. And for some reason, that makes the strobe flash. I don't know why. We have a pole. And chimes. This is a custom segment that I made. All of this is custom. pretty much all of the tones it does. I also have the test sequence. Uh, here would be all the sequences. Right now I only have a test sequence. Um, basically it just runs through all of the most important functions. So like high-low before announcements, 30 second alert, 30 second attack, uh, announcements again, chimes, and then the strobe will just flash for three minutes. Uh, I just figured that's a good test of it. This is meant to be mounted on a 4x4 four four pole. As you can see there, that's the mount. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully, the next video, most likely, the next video I make on this will be posted pretty soon. And most likely, it will be of it up on the pole and running. Uh, yeah, running. So, looking forward to being able to upload that. For now, though, this is the siren completed off the pole, but it's completed. So, yeah, that's it. And, uh, yeah, thank you for watching.